Live from Dodd Stadium in Norwich, Connecticut, it's the Northeast Conference Baseball Championship. Game three, a loser's bracket elimination game today featuring Central Connecticut State, the three seed, and Fairleigh Dickinson, the four seed. I've never seen anybody pitched around and intentionally walked as much as this guy. And he clubs one to deep right field. That ball is going back. It is far and it is gone! A two-run homer for Noah Martinez, his 15th of the year. And Central Connecticut takes a 2-0 lead. Well, City's got great range, but he'd have to climb the wall to have any chance at that one. He faded back, he turned around, he thought he might have had a chance, but by two, with the bases loaded and nobody out. He does, and it's lined into right, a base hit. Tornero falls, but stops it. Sosa scores. It's an RBI single for Bree Harden, and we are tied at two. After you would be really disappointed if they did not put up a big inning here. It's hit hard into left field. Gordon makes the catch. Rasidi tags and scores. FDU takes a 3 to 2 lead. It's a sack fly and an RBI for Dave Bordieri. Stolen base and an error. That ties the FDU single season record. 34 stolen bases for Justin Sierra. And the pitch to Rossiti is hit a ton. Center field, Pasqualini going back and it's over his head and it rolls to the wall. Sierra scores. Rossiti into second base with an RBI double. FDU in front, four to two. Didn't get to finish, and last year they finished sixth place. So a long journey just to get here. Verga trying to bunt his way on. Fielded by Nyman, throws the first. Martinez can't get the tag on him. Infield single for Tommy Verga. Rob Datoma, in just his third year at FDU, has done a terrific job turning around the program. This is a hot shot into left field. This ball's going back. It's deep, and it's gone! It's a two-run homer! for Dave Bordieri, his first of the year. FDU takes a 6-2 lead, and the dugout empties for the Knights. He's got an ERA near five. He has saved six games this year, and he pitched yesterday. 42 pitches yesterday. The 1-1, one -one. this is hit into right field, base hit. Pascalini rounds third. He's coming home. Another Blue Devil run on the board. It's now six to three. Bit of a gamble by Rob Detoma, but he's leaving a senior in there. This is hit just past the leaping shortstop and into shallow left. Too shallow to try and send the runner. The bases are loaded full of Blue Devils with two outs. Six to three, Fairleigh Dickinson trying to protect a three-run cushion. But all the ducks are on the pond for the Blue Devils. Base is loaded, and their designated hitter, Joe Rios up. This is a high fly ball, deep right field, and this one is out of here! Grand slam home run, Joe Rios! And the Blue Devils have taken the lead! Incredible! Here's the 2-1. This one's hit up the middle. Fielded by the shortstop, flipped to second, and the ball game is over. The Central Connecticut State Blue Devils have done it again. Seven straight wins in elimination games in the NEC Baseball Championship, and the Blue Devils survive in advance, and they knock out Fairleigh Dickinson by the score of 10-6. So the grand slam by Joe Rios with two outs in the eighth inning gave Central a 7-6 lead. They never relinquished it. So they come back again and survive another elimination game. Look, I know you're only a sophomore, but this program has a habit of doing this. What is the key to resiliency in the Blue Devils? We've always been taught, never, never, uh, always got to fight to the last out. Never take any outs for granted. Always got to battle today. You know, it looked like we kind of wasted a few opportunities, but we kept fighting. We knew that one big swing was going to turn the uh, game around, and it did today for us. Now, you're not known as a home run hitter. What were you looking for at the time you came up to the plate with the bases loaded? 
I knew I was making solid contact all weekend so far and bringing in a reliever with the bases loaded. I knew I was going to get something good to hit. And I was ready for that first pitch, and that's what happened. What, if anything, did you know about him? Because their starter was laboring. He was over 110 pitches. He was getting tired, and they made that move. What was going through your mind, or what were your coaches telling you what to look for? Definitely the fastball. I've always been a fastball hitter. And I looked like he had a pretty good fastball coming out of the bullpen. And again, base was loaded, and he was going to try and get ahead with the fastball. So I was ready for it. Garofalo goes six innings of scoreless relief. He comes in. It's six to two, you guys are down, but he holds the fort. What can you say about your relief pitcher there? Luke's been unbelievable for us all year. A uh, new pickup for us this season. I mean, he's, he's gonna keep doing it for the rest of the season. We have a lot of confidence in him, he's been our guy. All right, so the rest of the way, I got a feeling you guys are sky high. It doesn't matter that you lost one game already. When it comes time to elimination, the Blue Devils always seem to answer the call. Best of luck, congratulations. Thank you very much. Go Devs. All right, guys, let's go back to you.